Yep. Yep. Let yes. me make sure all, all right. my yep. stuff's off. I don't think I don't know. that's off. How would the high? I mean, it's a mm, that's off. No, the hydrophone wouldn't. It's just listening, I would think. Yeah. Could be something we there's have. There's a cork, there's a tilt meter, there's a titan. There's straw B, there's straw A, should both be off. Straw there's B, straw A, There's a hydrophone what? array, there's a new hydrophone What's array. That's what about the third straw? The last straw, that's the yeah, last yeah, straw. Straw A, is, <laughs> straw A is two yeah, more whatever A's. Whatever it is that's causing it, he's off to starboard. Okay, we got a target running over right around there. Should we go to that and see what it is? Target's Could right. be the tilt meter. But yeah, any finding anything down here, oh, we good and we follow that? it. That is 30 meters? No, not quite, but 25, I think. Yeah. That's has Atalanta started to move oh, yeah, yet? Yes, it has started range, to move. 30 yeah, meters, meters away, Renny, does that sound right? No. This heading? I mean, we'll find, we'll find something there, okay. won't we? As long as we're not going to be wrapped around a mooring. No, no, all the all the tall stuff is for much further south. We're gonna go to this target then. See what it see what it is. It Randy, while we're doing R I P inspection, yes. can you keep Atalanta kind of moving a little bit towards the south or at least get it over the IP? Yeah, once we're at the IP then we'll get a we'll we'll range into where the straw should be and then I I'll move a little bit, but we don't. We don't want to. I know you don't want to send it too far forward. Yeah, too far. I will. I, I got will. A cable here, AJ. Yeah. Yeah. That uh, should be the cable to the hydrophone, maybe. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, it should be followed to the right. To the right goes to the IP. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming. It's like there. There. Uh, I'm gonna start and turn. Come find you. I don't think so. I'm pulling you, so I don't. Just leave it for a yeah. while. Yeah. Okay. Put in a large move. That should be all right. One at a time, we get there. Yeah. Uh, it just just takes a long deep. time. Yep. Yeah. in for next shift. Wow. That was just a self note. Yeah, no, I wrote it down. <laughs> okay, who's got comms with the uh, winch control station? I have radio comms. I have an intercom belt pack ready for them. Okay. Do you want them to come get it? Yeah, it's probably easier than me. I can, I Which can station? take it. Oh, hold on, I got Marley doing it. Yeah, all right, hold on. I just Never mind, stand by. Marley's coming down with a headset pack. Um, who's there? Trevor. Sure. Can you, where's Trevor's headset? He has a special headset. It was plugged in the chart. Is it still over there? Uh, stand by. He's got his, he's got, it's, you'll know it's his because it's special. No, it's not with that type. I just asked him where he left it. Yeah. Trevor, where's your uh, headset? There it is. Nice. Ah, nice. Here. <laughs> yeah, it was like right by. That's cool. It's like a little treasure hunt. Yeah, there you go. That should be the IP. Contact right. Starboard. <laughs> we should just be able to talk to him on uh, SPL once he gets set up. Hopefully we'll get a comm check from him. He's never going to work with me again. Because all I like to say is right and left. Not very nautical. Yeah. Not very naughty, though. Yeah. Control van, comms check. Yep, loud and clear. Roger. Yep. Do you have us? Yeah, I got you too. Okay. Does it say what? Five for five? What is it? Five by five. Five by five. 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 No, like four by four, Roger. Four by four. Loud and clear. Cheap Cherokee. Roger. Roger Cheap Cherokee? Nine. 
Yeah, he said four by four on the back. A lot of a lot of vehicles do ready. What's that? A lot of vehicles. Yeah, but that was the one that quickly came in my head. All right, the like right. speed. It was where the it was landed. exactly. I wish Marley had never brought this. You want to confirm position here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're welcome, Marley Trevor. Marley has brought this upon you. I we see the larval traps. Confirm position. We and all heading. need to be connected. Roger, okay, I'll do. Yep. What are we doing here, AJ? We're lining up for a heading. Roger. Heading in position once we get there. Okay, we the and then Atalanta's yeah. still on the way. Then we'll go get the larval traps. Yep. Bubble set. Roger. Bubble set. One for port. I'm really good at pressing the one. <laughs> <laughs> Super duper light. That junction box looks way better than the other one. Gonna step another twenty one six five bridge nav. Step two zero meters one six five. Okay. Thank I got, you. I got a heading for you, AJ North. Yeah, it says it right there. Yep, and it matches up too. Beauty. Um I so suppose ROV is looking one hundred and eighty degrees. Yeah, if you get a location there, that'd be great. Sure. I'll just wait till we're over it. Yep. I wonder if there was an instrument on this at some point that required a north heading. Don't know. Seems weird, because we don't have anything strapped there. All the panels are popping. It'd be kind of hard to orient the... Uh, Maybe there's something on that grating at some point. Yeah. Marble well, traps? orienting the IP, I would think, would be You do with a through-frame lift. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, let's go get them larval traps. Go get them larvals. Larval larvals. Somebody made a cake of them worrying. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. <laughs> 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 it looks horrendously unappetizing. <laughs> uh, such nerds. That's great. Yeah. Thanks, Rennie. Yep. All right, Atlanta's still on the move, and I won't call in any more after that. We'll just wait till we get the... You'll be in reach of the larvals and everything. Um, mm -hmm. And then I think the it's about 40 meters out, the straw. Yep, no worries. So we're just moving a little slower than we typically would with this configuration is that uh we're at a pretty deep depth so anytime we make moves at the surface it takes a long time for atalanta to move and then we're being cautious because we have moorings in the water column two of which are at 150 meters from the sea surf sea floor uh, up in the water and then the one that we're going to be operating on is 500 meters up in the water column. So you can imagine that we don't want to get our 6-8 cable, the heavy steel cable that's coming from the ship uh, attached to Atalanta, um, kind of fouled up with that 500 meter one because it's so tall, it's not like we could just drive over it really quickly if we mess up. We kind of want to approach it cautiously, but which we're doing from the north. And um, 
making sure we don't get caught up. <laughs> How funny is that? Hilarious. Watch change at winch station. Winch, it winch watch. Looks <laughs> Watch out. I, think watch, watch. I think he went to a baking school a great, as well. Great effort. <laughs> it's a great effort. <laughs> That's who I think it is. I think they're professionally trained. AJ, you see the bubble can there? Yeah. What's that? That's a flange box. Cool. What's it do? We already talked about a flange box. Flange boxes, they pop off of subsea cable a spools so they typically contain like the termination can and then like the flying lead like the pbof um on one end so they'll rotate with the spool and then when you're done the cable a they kind of pop off and that's kind of why it's kind of looks like a half donut because uh that has to fit around an axle and that cable runs to our node So don't sever it. So can you just barely not reach the larval traps? Correct. Yeah, that's correct. All right, I'm, I'm switching out with room, Lauren. So See ya. Bye, Marley. Swinging all the way down here, but it's going to take a while. I'm going for lunch last. So I think this is uh, from where you are now on Mezzo. Uh, I think this is the cork, and then I think that this is the straw that we're after. And the other two straws are here and here. Did anyone, was anyone watching that? Uh, I saw the cork. Yeah, I and think the cork, two straws that's the straw we want. Yeah. Hmm. So it's, and these are t 20 meters on this, on Herc right now. So. This is not the straw you're looking for. Maybe, do you want it at 10? Do I want a what? Do you want this at 10 now? I don't know. I'm going to try and go sit by these local traps. Yeah, it should be coming down. No, that's not what I want. I don't want that. You don't want that. Oh, wait, I do. You're just changing your heading. Yeah, you don't want that. Maybe that is what I want. Nope, going back to 15. I did this wrong. Well, we're still waiting, so why don't yeah. I do it right? How's that? There's no way to do it wrong, Josh. There's no nice. way to do this wrong. Yes. I need to put auto heading on. Okay. Let's see how it goes. Videos off comms for a sec. Roger. Videos back on comms. <laughs> Stay off of comms, Trevor. I'm just going to go another 15. Because it seems to be not moving. And you need it. It's another octopus out there. Yeah, I saw him when we yeah. came in. Smaller one. I couldn't tell if it was, but yeah, I see what you're talking about. So we were just Ten doing a presentation to a group in LA. Shot. Yeah. <laughs> And the octopus, like, you guys were just zooming in. I'm like, and sometimes we see these things. And the kids were like, what? 
<laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> it was pretty exciting. They were pretty excited. I showed this to Marley, but I'll show it to you. This is the watch party in Munich. Oh my gosh. That okay, just sounds dramatic. Yeah, they're all in the chat. Because th those are the PIs for the straws? Yeah. yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh, they're so excited. Just making sure and you're then not Vincent. Made uh, a straw cake. Made a straw cake. <laughs> I think I okay. need to move my microphone away from my mouth. That was no a loud judgment. cackle. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh Didn't know God. if we had Professional a situation. That's, that's, that's pretty awesome. Can we see where the can we see where the beacon is in the starboard bio box? Is it can it allow for these to go in, or we got to take it out? Let's take it out. Yep, taking it out. So that's first thing. That's fine. Uh, first thing, take it out. Right? First thing, take it out. Second thing, put them in. You don't need me at all, so I'll just bio box out. Okay. I don't know how to. Okay. Those are like those aren't hiccups. That those are not hiccups. It sounds like you're dying. <laughs> Can I come out? Can I come out some more? Okay, coming up. Am I gonna hit you? I think you gotta get that checked. He's trying to work, guys. Leave him alone. Got it. Pinchy. It's gonna dangle. Might have it. There you go. Coming in on the tray. In on tray. You're gonna need the tray out for the larval uh, traps. Uh, okay, I'll leave it out then. Thank you, AJ. What are we doing with this beacon, anyways? Let's put it on the porch for now. Roger. You could hang it in mango like a lantern. <laughs> this like way. Old, old yeah, like an old timey. Uh, yeah. Nightcap. That's a cool thing. Looks like some sort of shrimp. Oh, I'm rocking in because I'm scared. Do you see the tape now, Trevor? Yes, I do. Thank you. See the tape? I put that tape on there so that he would turn the beacon on. And I said, yeah, because you saw the tape, right? He said, what tape? Oh, nice. Granted, it's not a very uh, long piece. Out, which I did not land properly for. You're good. How do I do that? How do we do that? Ed? What do you want to do? Never mind. Never mind. It's our thing. Uh, cameras. Bucket. You're welcome. It's so small. Itty bitty. Trevor gave me a Herc tour this morning. I did not realize there are seven cameras on Hercules. Pretty cool. Does that include the stills cam? Nope. Eight cameras? Eight cameras on Hercules. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. Nice. Cameras are critical to this work. The other thing in the class that we were just connecting with this morning said is the teacher was like, so I heard if you're really good at video games, you'd be a great ROV pilot. It's true. No? False. Yes. False? Uh-oh. James, when I asked James what his background was. Do, yeah, it's <laughs> not video games. That's what he said. Well, that's a lie. <laughs> James, is, James has a degree in chemistry. Can I put these larval traps away? Does the chemistry help him? Yes, you can. AJ. Science. Yeah. Yes, it actually games. does, to be honest. Do not. I, I was surprised that it does so much, but his chemistry comes in handy a lot. Can you please change pilot cam oh, right, back yeah. to starboard yeah, Gotcha. Here we go. All right. um, not, not for specifically for piloting AJ's degree, but... Um, but in general, his knowledge is... That's out enough. Yep. Here 
Yeah, still seeing that interference in Herc. It's so weird. In both? Oh, wait, am I pinging that thing? No, I don't think I am. I'm pretty sure I'm not. The beacon? And it also wouldn't show up there anyway. No, no yep. we've used beacons before. Never seen yeah. that. Wh has Did anything changed the, uh, it's a variable frequency head, so maybe the other watch changed the... The Seeking or the, both or the them. Mezzo? Both of them are. Yeah, but, okay, I guess they could have. Would they have noted that somewhere? And why would they have done it? Yes and yes. Yes and yes, Roger. And you know, you know how it is. Yep. Known, just for funsies. I didn't help look through those bean bags earlier. <coughs> Got those hiccups around. That was annoying. Yeah. It's very funny though. It's just hard to laugh. Now that your hiccups are done, can you bring your mic closer to your mouth? Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. I'm like, um, are they? Is that something you've experienced before? My hiccups? The loudness of I'm, them. I'm yeah, worried it's, that it's he's gonna do it. It's, it's crazy. Huh. Cool. It's like just Best how off. I hiccup. I don't understand it, and it's really <laughs> annoying. I think it's manly. Well, I think it's cool. Yeah, I, it's, think it's I think it's hilarious. I think, I think it's, it's a cool Trevor, thing that everyone Trevor should really celebrate. You can well, absolutely you, you know when you get the, pe the people with the, like the really, sh the like the sneeze, the, the like tiny sneeze. Did you? Yeah. Is that you? Are you a tiny sneeze hater? He's a tiny sneezer. Oh. But so I'm also a sneeze hater. Self. He's a self. Yeah. Self wow. hate. Self hating self -hater? sneezer. Yeah. I I loathe. Tiny sneezers. Nope, I just loathe. She just loathes. <laughs> Full stop. Mm. Yeah. What are we all eating in record time today? Nope. All right, how do I get that little menu out? Hope you're not talking to me. Uh, yeah, I am, but when you're done, so all we right, can figure Lauren's out the frequency out of this. With Kim. Sonar. See Sonars. Ya. Sonars. So I'm glad these monkey's fists are like four feet long, so that's fine. <laughs> it's okay, they get they get tucked in by the lid. I just gotta take it. What was that, AJ? Sorry, hey. The monkey's fists get tucked in by the lid. Oh, oh. yeah, tucked into the thrusters, gotcha. Yeah. Roger. Roger, Josh, bring your headset. Uh, yeah, that's what we're trying to figure out there, Megan. What do you want to know there, Renny? Uh, how do you get that menu to the right? Uh, I don't know. You can right-click and find everything from there. Uh, head really settings? Do recover yeah. all the straws? Nope, Sorry? not head settings. We all well, it'll batteries. tell us, though. Actually. It depends on the status of the cable lay. I see. I all right, see. Dave. No, it doesn't. For sure this one. When you're all set, yep. you please have starboard. What is it called? Sample yes, tray. Yes, for sure yeah. this one. Likely we'll do another. For now. And then we'll mm -hmm. do we'll try in. Don't know yep. about the third. Uh, display settings? Uh. No. How do I get that menu? Slow down, Dave. <laughs> what do you want to do about the you want to try and lower those monkey's fists? Yeah, in? I want you to get it almost a monkey's fist width open, and then I'll stuff them down. Alright. I'm halted. There we go. Okay. I'll add it to the list, Trevor. What's that? I have it. I have Her Hercules set to 675 kilohertz. That's is the that same as, the, uh, 650 is the C-Prince, C-King. Like your problem. Maybe. Well, so who changed that? Should I change that to something else? I don't know. I or don't should know. I change the C-King? Oh, yeah. they're interfering with each other. Yeah. So I'm we gonna think. change the C-King, I don't know. I don't you're gonna same, did, you're gonna change the C-King? I might have already. There's no way to know. Sorry, I'm thinking of too many things. Um, All right. I might have changed the Sea King last night when we were looking for bee bags. Okay. Maybe it was someone else. Maybe it was the default. I don't know. Okay, just tell me what you want to do. Do you want me to change the mezzo for Herc? I want oh. you to decide because I'm okay. thinking about other things. Can you please, Dave, yep. box in a little bit? Yep. Going. Oh, you're not late. That's you pushing on it. That's yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay. Come out a bit. Sorry. It's okay. Good there. Come in. Is 
see if I can pinch it. Yeah. One more. Yeah, good there. That's got it. <laughs> no. Well, no, it doesn't. Is this a fool's errand? Should I just give up and... Yeah, um, that, especially that long one, I'm a bit <coughs> concerned about that. Yeah, I've been telling them for years to make shorter ones, but nobody listens. I just put it in the list. I know. Unless we can wrap them, both of them. Okay, I have changed the Hercules Mezzo scanning sonar to 500 kilohertz. Roger. And that seems to have cleared can up the problem. Can you write down a sticky note or something, please? Sure. I can write it in the red book later. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Uh, can Would it you make you more comfortable again, if it was please? in the toolbox? Uh -huh. No, it doesn't fit in the toolbox. There's I'm quite going. a delay there. Um, yeah, go ahead. If I it. go in a touch, can you pull that ball down and stuff it under? Maybe, yeah. Give and then I come in over the top again? Yeah, Roger. Yeah, nice. Okay, coming to you. Okay, stand by. I'm not going to really get them to nip out because of the right. traps Let themselves. Me come no, just a good. little. You're good, you're good. Okay, go there. Yeah. Oh, it wants to come out. Don't you dare, you little devil. Bonk. Oh, yeah. what? <laughs> Surprise. Oh, Pandora's box. <laughs> oh. Okay, see, there's Sec Dave. We'll see what yeah. do here. Oh. There's two. Okay, yeah, come out again. This will work. We just got to do it. Coming back out. Not enough. Keep going. I think all the way was good, so we can lock it to the lid. I gotta grab both of them. Watch change of video. There you go. Roger. Oh, I'm in the T slot now. Mamma mia. Aggravating. No, okay, uh, go yeah. in a bit, please. Coming in. Keep going, keep going, keep going. That's going to get quite tight in yeah, a second. Good there. Oh, halt fail. Oh, jeepers me. Okay, uh, I have another idea. Come all the way out, please. Coming all the way out. There you go. Grip is locked. You're going to wrap it up in itself? Yeah. Wrap it up in each other anyway. It'll only solve one problem, but it's, it's not nothing. Easier to deal with one problem as opposed to two. Exactly. That's good. They're doing a 600 person watch change, so it's chaos. Hmm? They're doing a 600 person watch change in the van right now, so it's chaos, yeah. so I have time. Video's back on. Hey, Pete. Good morning. Okay, one That's is Nice, done. well done, mate. Thank you. Swing and a miss there. Okay. Okay. Let's try this on for size. 
You want me to start coming yeah, in? Yeah, come in, please. Keep going, keep going. Yep, yeah, that's going to come up. Yeah. Thank you, Rennie. It's close. If you can get it stuffed under there like that, it'll probably stay. Roger. Oh. <laughs> can, you, can you look around at uh, Delta and Atlanta position and everything? I'm kind of tunnel vision right now. Yeah, we're good. <coughs> Atlanta's in a good spot. Getting close to that, closer to that first one, but. All right, I'm going to start and close a little. Uh, stand by just a sec. Let me just get a little bit better set up. I wish I had a little more shoulder. Nuzzle that a bit and then. Okay, try there. No, it's under. Yeah, and now I think my jaw is clear of the box. I think you can go most, if not all, the way in. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, I still got some movement there. Yeah. This is good. Keep it up. Can you loosen so as that starts to slide away with? Or even come out there? Uh, stand by. And... Yeah. Come on. There we go. <laughs> oh, it tried. Little devil, eh? <laughs> Oh boy, okay. Jeepers. Whoa. That was fun. All right. Yeah. So, where are we going? I don't know. That's up to the uh, science room. Right. Back here, so. <laughs> you could probably sling that arm outboard a touch. Yeah, stand by. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay. Yeah. And, well, we're probably going to want the beacon at some point. Are we doing that at the bottom of the mooring or the top? I can't remember. Don't know. Probably the bottom makes sense to me, but I'm not the decision maker. So, All right. Um, we don't want to move so far with it. Have Lose the adults board. finished shouting out the back <laughs> or not? No, not quite done. Not quite done shouting. Yeah, they it's okay. Comms first, so. We're getting there. Slowly. <laughs> I can see if I can find you on Atalanta. Hmm? I can see if I can find you on Atalanta. Um, yeah, we can probably do that now we're not dragging it around. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay. Now, just waiting on watch change. Dirk's ready-ish for you. Hey, Dirk-ish, ready-ish. <laughs> Quick one for you. All ready-ish. Before we do any super big decisions, are we going to be putting the beacon on the bottom or the top of bottom. the ring? Thank you. Bottom. That was a low ball. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. We can land and Good do warm it then. Up. Yep, totally. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Whew. All right, AJ. That is so much better. That's a better frequency. Yes, agreed. Okay. So you wrestled those larval traps into the box? Wrestled the larval traps, never open it again. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how to change the platelet colors on this and change uh, it to copper? Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll figure it out. I remember. I'll, I'll figure it out. I've done it before. We're waiting on you, Dirk, okay, just so you know. All right. So next we're going to um, go to a survey of the release mechanism It'll of the be base of, of the mooring. Release survey. Roger, we can head there now? Yeah, you can head there now. And you, has AJ kind of given you the brief on this mooring? It's tall? Yes. Okay, sweet. 500 meter high big, uh, mooring, right? Yeah, 500 yes. meter yeah. high, and it's uh, just about Which one's dead that? south of the IP. Gotcha.
it. Come on. Come on. We just saw uh, a shark outside. A shark? Yeah, relatively unconfirmed, but there were a few tuna jumping at the bow of the vessel. Oh, wow. And then we saw start seeing this wake coming from about, I don't know, almost 500 meters behind hell? aft. And it just kind of came straight for that know, spot. That? Occasionally saw a fin surface. Cable? Yeah, you can see it coming out of bubble. Oh, sorry, yeah. butt, butt cam. You're clear of it, but it is. You're really oh. stuck, aren't you? And then yeah. when we got to it, all the tuna just jumped heat. So oh, we don't wow. know if it was a shark. We think it was. It never breathed, and it was big, so. Okay. What kind of sharks would be yeah. out in these waters? In I there, man. I'm not sure. I think blue sharks. Blue Weird. Sharks. But I also don't know. Yeah, I haven't really looked that's why it. I want to just check a few things out here. So you're at that, that guy. All right. Is that flange box, is that the flange box just kind of southeast of the IP? Where are you guys? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Right, uh, let's just see, because I don't have much on sonar. There it is, I think. Just on the edge of my range. Roger. Maybe 30, 30 meters. meters. Is that Sa about right? Say the starboard. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay. Uh, can't see what we must meet out the 24. Uh, can you ask the winch to come up? Uh, Let's go five, ten meters up, please. Yeah, he's he probably Coming here. Up ten. Oh, it's Allison still. Hello, Allison. Ah, I forgot you were on here. Yeah, you're no. moving away from. The, oh, you're. Where are you going? Sorry, you're I'm moving away from the winch. I don't think we want ten. Maybe. Just, I'm, yeah, me down. Do was down at, down me down down was down at twenty-two, mate. Yeah, yeah, you're fine, Allison. Roger. Yeah. Yeah, loops are looking good. We're all we're all fine. All right, digital stills. So we'll get the camera. Is the camera turned on or powered up? I'll check. Thanks. Nope. Yeah, I wanna should have it in 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no rush. It's just I want to get some stills of this morning as we're <laughs> ascending, eventually. I got to go through the rigmarole of setting up the files and stuff too, so. Okay, you're pulling me again. Yep. All we right. need to move. How close are you to the mooring? 15 meters? 15 meters. Um, 20 meters south. Uh, 15, I think, is fine. Yeah, 15. 15? 15? No, yeah, right. no more than that. Maybe even 10. Bridge now. Can we move 10 meters south, please? Thanks. We'll start with 10. Perfect. Don't want to get close to a 500 meter mooring. It just there in the camera. Right. Yeah. Big Probably. bags slightly yeah. starboard. Yeah. You can just see it. Mm -hmm.
Sorry, Allison, can I get five meters back out, please? Five meters coming out. Thank you. Weird. What the? Okay. Hmm. Those are some interesting lumps on the ground. Oh, there's the, the cable to it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is a cabled mooring, right? Uh, yeah, it's cabled. Well, that makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, that looks like something there. Sorry, I'm having so. Oh, my mouse is back. Yes. This is a good side to be, actually, looking at the currents. Uh, I'm going to turn off some Atalanta lights so you get a better view of it. Maybe. Turning all of them off right now. That is not better. Well, it's quite hazy down here, actually. Yeah, it is. I still it's think this is pretty good visibility, like as far as how well you can see Hercules through Atalanta versus at the any of the other sites so far. So I think maybe it's just down here. I don't know. Kind of hey Pete, could here. you turn off uh, Atalanta Mini Zeus auto focus, please? Yes. It's sure. Just hunting a lot. Thank you. Yeah, it's not like the focal distance is changing a whole lot, so that'll be fine. Yeah, exactly. Um, Give me one, one more second here. Uh, we are going to look at the um, kind of all the way from the connector up to that release mechanism, but I just want to set up the files for files here. You want to come right down here, Dirk? Yeah. Yeah. We need to be around the other side, don't we? Uh, when it comes to the release? Yeah, to disconnect that. Uh, you may be able to turn it, but yeah, there is going to be a pin that you want to pull from the other side. But Do we not disconnect that cable also? One second. Okay, so this cable we also have to disconnect, yeah. So, hopefully we can spin it, because moving the everything around the other side is non-trivial. Well, we can't spin the base connector, so that we have to do. Well, we can pull it out of the uh, A-frame. Yeah, you can pull it out of the A-frame. Yeah, yep, that's true. That'll work. And then we'll have to Figure take out a look at that later, release yeah. later. Yeah. So right now we're just kind of just looking at everything. So just, I can't hear you in my headset. Is there any reason why? You can't hear me? I can no. hear Dirk. Uh, at all? Okay. Uh, Trevor, how's the volume on your side? Yeah, it's fine. I guess you're really, really quiet. I can hear you, but mm. not in the headset. Toggle He's probably him on. Turn yeah. him down. Let's toggle him on. Mm -hmm. How about that? Alright. Yeah. Uh, pilot, pilot, is that yeah, better? I gotcha. Check, check. Oh, you're not on SPL? I am? Yeah, he's on SPL. Alright. Well, I don't understand. Yeah. But, okay, I hope that's better. Yep. Okay, so what we're doing first here, we're going <coughs> to survey the release mechanism. We'll get back. We'll start thinking about this connector as we're doing some survey. Um, but just before we start, give me another one minute. 
Just gotta change some settings. Probably give you a front porch camera, is that all right? Perfect. This program is just a little glitchy, or a little slow, laggy, I guess is the word I'm looking for. This one. Hmm. Large. Okay. Interesting. Why did it just do that? What did it do? Dopplers, zero beams. Because you're on the bottom. Fabio? It's uh, just I do not locked that, out because no. of the just That's onto AJ's. the bottom. If you're on bottom, you get no beams. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh. Okay. I'm uh, happy on this side, so we can probably start our survey. Okay, coming up. How far? We're just going up to the release for now, right? Yeah, we're just going to go investigate the release for now. So yeah. we'll keep winch at same level for now. Yeah. <clears throat> and Dirk, are we going to clip this beacon? Sorry, let me say that differently. I would like to clip this beacon before doing the whole uh, survey. Is that all right with you? Uh, yeah, that's, that's fine. Just so it's not on the porch loose, you know? Yeah. That's old. I think we can throw that out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we want to check out that. Yep. Specifically. Okay. Good. How are you? Okay, so can we, um, ROV, when you're ready, can we just zoom in and see if there's any, like, noticeable corrosion or anything on there? We're going to have to be checking out a few of these kind of pieces. Okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, go for it, Pete. Looks pretty good. And you're familiar with these releases on how we're eventually going to do it? I don't know where the pull pin is. Is it on the far it's side? It's on the far side. That's kind of the one we were talking about spinning, right? Okay. So, sorry for my circle. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be around the back of just behind this white guy. Yeah, okay. I see the pin that's the lower of the two bolt looking things there, right? Yeah. It's, I think you can kind of, it should be just down there somewhere. Oh, okay. Uh, but it looks like this is pretty good. That anode looks fine. So that's a good enough survey of that. I don't need to really see more of it. Okay, for a wide, please. And then Thank you. we're just going <coughs> to... Ascend the boring slowly and then get some pictures along the way. Hey, Winch, could we come up five meters, please? Coming up five. How far up are we going right now? Uh, we're going to go the whole thing. Do you want to do this beacon before we go up? I do, yes. Okay, where's it going? Um, see the base here? Just right there. Or, yeah, that's a good, good enough spot right there. If it's going to be in the way, we can also clip it at the top of this thing. Uh, that should be a similar structure, just to, just maybe another two Let's feet. Have a look at that. Up on your frame as well. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Just so we're not. And have a look. Just so we're not complicating the release when we yeah. when we get there. A few connectors out there, but I still think like in there. Yeah, and just 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 around this like ready rod yeah. or the vertical threaded yeah. rod. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Ready for that now? Yep. yep. Okay. I'm going to take bubble cam. What beaner do you have on here? I will show you in mere moments. <laughs> do you want anything else looking down at you, or are you good there? You're good. Yeah, I'm good. We're all good. Uh, I don't like... Well, what do I do? Eh. That'll be That's fine. That's okay. Be fine. Okay, grip is locked. This is the carabiner that I have on here, Dirk. Okay, yeah. It's a silver one. Silver bina. <laughs> so, right. if you get me close, Dave, yep. then I can... I'll just do one of these kind of thing. Okay, halted there. I'll give you front porch view. Forward view. 
That'll work. Yeah. Center it up. Perfect. Yeah. You say when. You can once go out we, if yeah, you want. Once we click this on. So it should be essentially right now. Okay. We're in. Let go. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I will stow this arm. Good thing I took some snaps of that before. Dusty. Arm secure. Yep. So, Dirk, now we're going to continue upward, is that correct? Upward, yeah. Upward, Roger. Onward. Onward and upward. Let's give you porch view here. When you start moving, I'll keep an eye on the delta there, Dave. I'll call okay, it man. as I see it. Yep. Coming up. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Winch, can we get 10 meters up, please? Coming up 10. You can go slow. Uh, we're ready. Oh, yeah. I've been taking some stills for it. I mean, where it focuses is kind of like a guessing game, so. We're only going to be seeing the, the mob just on the top, I guess. Yeah. You're not trying to photogrammetry this, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Up one side, down uh, the you're other. You're pretty close with your bar there. Um, New ideas. Yeah. I can give you a sonar here. I'm just always yeah, looking at the stills help. and when the stills are like. Yeah. I so Fabio, for these pictures, where are we focusing on like noticeable events, or do we want to get the whole mooring and pictures? Gonna be uh, I mean, the, quite the, the focus on the on the the glass. Um, yeah, sorry. I don't think we need too many of the cable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not I trying mean, to model this with some strength. The whole thing is six meters. I mean, one picture here and there along. Yeah, yeah. So there's a strain like relief. Looks like so I'll take a picture of that guy. The yield grip. Look at the. The speed okay, or do you want to come up quicker? Uh, you could come up a little faster than that. When we see something interesting, we can slow it down a little bit. Yeah. I don't think the first mooring is not going to be for a little bit, so, or the first Trevor, module. that's 10 for me. Do you want me to keep coming? Thank you, Allison. Good for now. But in the next 30 seconds, I'll ask for more. Okay, I'm going to hand it for Josh. Handing Trevor. over, Roger. Winch hand over. First module should be the WOM. WOM? Unless oh, maybe Elisa, she can give us... Got me, Trevor. Hey, Josh, can you please come up 10 meters at 10. 20 a minute? Roger. So. That's 10 meters. Roger. Wow. He's going way down. Yeah. It's some mooring still. <laughs> yes. That's some mooring. <laughs> Okay, Josh, up another 10, same speed, please. You can keep going, Josh.
All right, Josh, keep coming up. Come up 20 meters per minute, please. Yeah, the first thing we're expecting to see is around 120 meters. And that module is called a WOMP. WOMP. WOMP, WOMP, WOMP. We're going to be suction sampling that, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, but on the way down. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, just for your timing, you've got 120 meters off bottom. Roger. It's meant to expect something. I think it's going to get progressively less to look at in terms of cables and mooring. It's just going to be a thin wire at the end. Sweet. A thin blue line. Yeah, that disappears yeah. easily. No kidding. Okay, you can hold there for a bit, Josh. Yeah. Thank you. As soon as it cramps out of your hand, Josh, we'll have you start coming up again. Elisa Rusconi from Germany, one of the principal investigators of this uh, experiment, just shared with us <coughs> what the WOM module, module is, <coughs> is, measure, is measuring. Uh, is the wavelength shift, shifting module to collect more light in the UV ultraviolet regime. Interesting. Uh, Trevor, this distance from the mooring, is this what you're comfortable with, or can we go a little closer? Just yeah, sorry, I was just having a drink. Oh, yeah, no problem. The whiskey tends to sort me focal length out. <laughs> It's amazing that UV light even gets down here. Yeah. <coughs> I think we had a question last night about, um, you know, marine life and if they're more active during a certain time of day because there really is no day or night considering it's dark all the time. Come up a little faster, please, Josh. Oh, that's um, <laughs> Well, we have... Uh, at upper parts of the water column, we have the diel vertical migration of mass, uh, you know, zooplankton and even fish, the mictophids that we see around 300, 400 meters. Um, they are following uh, a predatory avoidance kind of right, since Based organisms. On above exactly. Them. Sure. So some organisms come to the surface at night where there's no. Uh, light, um, light, so visual predators, mm -hmm. they cannot uh, see the prey. And of course, during the day, they hide at deeper waters, in deeper waters. But here we are kind of a deeper than this, this diel vertical migration layer is. Okay, um, Josh, you can slow down to two zero meters a minute again. More on the upper thousand meters of the auto column, or maybe 1500 meters. But there are animals that are still somehow uh, they're able to follow these rhythms mm -hmm. um, so there's some rhythmicity as well that gets tracked down oh, so it is here. more active during the yep. day yeah what is you yes yeah. i'll stop yes, on the winch exactly. i'll stop on the winch what are we looking at here when you're ready trevor if we can zoom in there I'm always ready. Oh, I was going to say, it's what only are you saying you're doing it with no hands? <laughs> it's, it's only when Dave's ready. Oh, Dave, if we can have a look at that. Yep, no bother. Trevor's always ready. That's partially true. All right, actually. go for it. Mm. Interesting that we are behind the cable. Was that, yeah, was that a choice? Uh, By the currents? Yeah, that is a very active choice, yeah. Because <laughs> of the currents, right? It's really not us, it's the instrument that's behind the cable. Shy. <laughs> um, uh, so this is the this, this is the WAMP? Yeah. It's a cylindrical rather than 
spherical module. That's the only um, wow. I think Interesting. the thing though. Um, so this is the one of the ones we're going to be sampling. Yes. So I missed the start of the dive. So the rationale, of course, are, are the currents for us to, yeah, to so be behind the, the yeah, line. Okay, can come full wide. We, we really can't uh, be on the other side of this thing. Lovely, thank mm. you. Are you ready to continue up, Dirk? Um, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get some better zoom once we're intimate with it later with okay, the Okay, Josh, up on the winch, two zero meters a minute, please. Do you got some stills? Yeah, but the stills right now, we're, when we yeah, get yeah, real yeah. close, they'll be a lot better. Okay. At this range, not much, not much to see. How close do you need to get? Well, eventually we'll have to touch it, but um, for now, this for the survey's purposes, this or slightly closer is is fine. We're 1.5 meters away right now. Yeah, well, we're close. <coughs> bar won't, the crash bar won't be very far off it. You can see it there. Look. Yeah, totally. That's a really good distance there. That's a uh, sub meter. That's, yeah, about <laughs> a meter off. Okay, that's that's perfect. Just yeah. Scraping the paint off with, an, with the bumper bar. <laughs> That's fine. That's a next time. If we see like obvious growth or like an animal, like we can just stop on the occasional one too. And just you say the word. On that. Okay. You better say it quick, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was uh, the winch. Stop there. Stop when the winch. I'll stop yep. on the winch. Oh, okay. See, get some pictures of That's this. That's the. That's one that we would like to sample yeah, as well. Yeah, so we want to have a look at this one as well. Okay. This yeah, is one of the photo multiplier uh, sensors with the spectrometer. Unfortunately, um, because of the way the current is, I think drag's just going to naturally set all the instruments on the opposite side of the wire. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is big enough that we can see what the biofouling is doing, right? Yeah. <laughs> the other one was a bit uh, too narrow. There's some Myginura jellyfish. Okay, fish. go ahead, zoom. Rygina. We are 1.5 meters away-ish. Yeah. Nice shot. Okay, um, if we can just come up maybe uh, a little bit, because then the stills camera can get a reasonable picture of it. Yep. Well. Come on. Where's your stills camera? Can't see it. I don't, know, don't have it piped in anywhere. Let me see if okay. I can hit it up. Just talk me, talk to me, Dirk. Where do you want to go? Down? That's pretty up. good. That's that's fine. Uh, good enough. We can keep going up. We'll get a better one when we're sampling this one later. Okay. It's not on. Can you please uh, route the stills cam onto one of the PCs? Going up. Pick a PC. Anyone. Yep. Doesn't affect me. One, two, three, or four. Okay, Josh, please come up and winch. You can start at 15. We might speed up in a minute. That cable's uh, no a lot of extra slack in there. Oh, I guess that's your bumper's right on it. Yep. Yeah, so for people watching at home, um, 
This is about as close as we can get to this thing um, without act physically bumping it. Dave, that's your stills cam there now. Okay, man. Perfect. Looking Cheers. Looking for that. So the next module will be, so if that one was at 120, the other one was 144, the next one 168, so it should be coming up. Roger. So we want probably want to back up a little bit just in case the stills camera bumps it. Yeah, it's tough. Sorry, Dave. That's all right. The warning's good. There we go. There's something. There we are. Okay, Josh, you can come to a stop. That's the lighter. Yeah, I'll we'll take a video of that, a close up of that one, too. Oh. Um. Just come down a little bit for the yeah, still when you're ready. Yeah, I see it. There you go. And if we can, uh, Dave, also get us some zoom on there. All right, Pete. Bobby, do you think this is that's, adequate? Uh, that's pretty good. It really shows you the sedimentation and uh, yeah. the biofouling, the difference right there, hey? What is sediment wow. on the top? What's biofouling at the bottom, I guess? Yeah. Okay, full wide. Thank you. Ready to continue? Yeah. Okay, come up please, Josh. Good work. Somewhere between 15 and 20. Meters a minute. Part of this, we should probably just at some point see what happens when you shake it. And see if all the dust just falls off or not. Um, for maintenance. <laughs> well, maybe after we sample. No, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sure we're going to shake it whilst sampling. <laughs> yeah, look at that. You want to look so at some of those things, Fabio? Uh, yeah. Whenever you see I'll it. I'll stop coming down. I'll stop, Josh. There we go. Little guys, there they are. Okay. Coming in a bit closer. Okay, mate, you can zoom there. This is such a unique, um, unique environment for them. You can to go live right in, in if you wish. I bet you they don't get a lot of opportunity oh. to be up in the it's call. Seriante. No, they're tubularians. Huh? They're tubularity. So they're hydrozoans. Oh, hydrozoans. Oh. Yeah. Some eggs. Cheers. It's really hard to balance yeah. up here. Oh, yeah, it is. That's pretty good there. You're doing yeah. great. Okay, that's good. Thank good. you. And try not to blow it around with thruster wash <laughs> either. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, come up, please, Josh. So, Fabio, in situations like this, twenty. Expect to see potentially some unique creatures since we are your room um, because of the mooring of this height at this location. It's really kind of like a pretty unique ecosystem, is it not? Well, yeah, you're technically seeing a benthic animal in the water column, but I mean, it's nothing unusual. I mean, our uh, moorings, you c they came with uh, pretty much those, the, those RCM, well. the RCM moorings, yeah, they came with a uh, full of hydrozoans. But are there um, here? The next one we will find at 240, so it's going to be quite 80 meters above that last one. Roger. Oh. Roger. Uh, okay, so it's not like you Any find an course. animal that's kind of unique to the area. Well, they are unique to, I don't know if they're unique to this particular. Uh, we need to see what species is and yeah. what's the range. But this is a. Josh, you can slow down to 15 to 12, something like that. It'd be funny, it'd be interesting if you see some larvae on the larval trap and then see them up in the column, but you don't, they don't exist on the seafloor. 
Yeah. Oh, these ones do exist on the seafloor. They're all over our cables that we recovered last night. Oh, and yeah, like yeah. All over That's all what the I was IPs trying to say. and everything. Yeah. yeah. Well, They're... I understand that. I get that that part of it. Uh -huh. But I'm wondering, like, if there's a string 500 meters up, if you oh, find yeah. some well, larva I mean, in the column that wouldn't be on the bottom for whatever Any reason. hard substrate in the ocean is going to get colonized by whatever floats by. Yeah, they're so. they're assuming this is their their bottom, so yeah. They have, okay. Of course, they, these guys are getting particles out of the water, feeding off particles. Yeah, okay. So I, there's I think we're there's kind of missing each other a little bit, but yeah, okay. <laughs> I understand what you guys are saying. Yeah, we so see these growing on the corals question. and things and sponges, whatever, whatever they can find. The larvae supply the, the so these guys, they are in the water column, right? They're drifting and hundreds of kilometers and yeah, they, so they find a suitable spot. That's what I'm kind of saying. Attachment like, point. Would there be larvae in the column that would be happy to live at 2,000 meters, but would uh, not live at 2,600 meters, yeah. you know, because well, we're so far higher up? There is some so geographically, well, looking at a map, you don't expect to find them here because there's nothing at the 2,000 meter range mm -hmm. you know, or something like this. That's kind of the question. Um, so a lot of the deep sea animals, are they have a depth range, right? So yeah, they okay. don't, uh, don't occur exactly only at 2,600 meters. They, they have a tolerance for pressure, temperature, variant variability. Yeah. So let's say if that falls between... That range, so that's the exactly. interesting piece. Like, is there yeah. an animal that... Oh, it's within the top range, so we might see something that uh, shouldn't really be here, even well, though the larvae are this here. This is this is only a four, four hundred meter mooring, right? But when we have the five hundred, yeah. well, with the with everything, all the package and floats and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we will have a one kilometer mooring coming up, right? So that will be what? pretty interesting. So yeah, that's for our the next same reason, right? So you yeah. might get into that. Yeah, yeah. Now okay. you're in the fifteen hundred meter range. We'll have a, perhaps a zonation, we call it this ecological term, where you have bands, like physical bands, like you see on a rocky shore. You see well, you see that on our on our, um, on our moorings like Bain Sound and uh, Bain Sound specifically. Josh, it's please speed up to 15 to 18 or something like that. It's only 50 meters deep, but between 5 meters and 40 meters, there's a huge change in what oh, colonizes yeah. that mooring, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm wondering if that's similar on a mooring like this. Yeah. Probably not to that degree, obviously not. But Here we are in the Batiol zone, the deep sea. So the, a lot of species have hundreds of meters, if not more, yeah, of, range, of right? that range. Yeah. So could a, could a kilometer mooring kind of be almost an experiment of itself? Yeah, could be. Oh, there's one. I'm going to have Josh keep going for a little bit more, keep going. And actually, this is a pretty interesting... Okay, Pete. That is interesting how this little. one's not facing no. the same way. There has been a current change. Like here, for example, there's not a lot of hydrozoans, it looks like, on the on the glass. Okay, Josh, you can slow to a stop there. But and the water clarity also looks a lot... Yeah. And yeah. also with the Looks one kilometer mooring, we'll be able to see that we'll, we'll be reaching from 2,600 to 1,600. Yeah. We'll be reaching the bottom of the uh, oxygen minimum zone that's currently expanding due to climate change. So that's one of the, the uh, ancillary kind of okay, oceanographic wait. questions that we'll be able to answer. We plan to put some oxygen sensors on this new P1 line, so we'll be able to see the the is the bottom okay, of the up. this okay, Josh, uh, come up, please. large 15 to low oxygen zone expanding, yeah, um, which are predictions for for the end of the century to to expand quite a few tens of meters, if not more, down deep and up in the shallow waters. Yeah, cool. So the next one's really close. It's uh, only 15 meters above. Right about here then. Somewhere here, oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah. Okay, cool. So you're already thinking about this. Yeah. So in which the box is this? more than fifteen <laughs> meters. Yeah, maybe that was the the last one. Sorry, we already passed it then. It should be one that's close though, within twenty five meters. There you go. Is that yeah. it? Yeah. Yep. Keep there going, go. Josh. Okay, Pete. Oh, back to this, yeah. It's okay, man. Got it. Okay, Ooh, you stand. can hold there, Josh. Where are we? Um, I lost track. <laughs> yeah, we're too, too much too much biology, not enough. <laughs> Boring. Here. We're right here. We're the mule tracker. Maybe. I believe that's it. Or it could be the what? mini spec. What's our depth? What is our? Uh, that's not gonna. Two three nine seven exactly. Came in. Let's go. Wide coming up. Okay, Josh, haul in, please. Eighteen to twenty. Oh, do you want to photograph that, Dirk? Yeah, I got it there. Okay. Yeah, that should be the Moon tracker. No? So, two, we'll three. See. So the next one would be. Two, three, four, five. I have oh. the next one's 25 meters above this one. I have the depths here if you want. Okay, yeah. So we're, we're right. Cool. Check these things off as we pass them. Are we suction sampling one off of every single one of these? Nope. Okay. The bottom two, I believe. The LiDAR one and the... If, no, if not the bottom two. We're doing the four, three. We're doing pretty much right at the top and right at the bottom. Roger. Yeah, actually, it would be nice to add one of the, the spec spectrometers. The whole... The whole... <laughs> as, a, as a practice one? As a practice one. Well, the whole thing is we have a limitation of the suction okay, sensor. Okay, I'll stop, Josh. Oh, this one has... This one's not supposed to be here. <laughs> Why not? No, this one should be. This is the... <laughs> <laughs> this has some interesting... Yes, why is this one here? <laughs> some interesting stuff growing in it. Yeah, what is going on there? Yeah. See, yeah. maybe we already see... Give me a, a sec, Pete. A zonation. Okay, mate. Roger. This is uh, this one's a standard M. What is that? Is that rope? Got some rope that the other ones didn't have, or I believe it's, it looks like rope. Mm. It's definitely a piece of line there. Yeah. And it's got to, what's that growing over the side there? Is that just? Looks like a label. Label, yeah. Okay. I'll get right. still of this one too, if yeah. possible, and then come wide. Keep going. Thanks, bud. <coughs> Guess. Just let me know when you've got it, man. Yeah, I'm gonna take a couple since I'm kind of moving a bit. So just to be sure, one sec, give me. Okay, that should be okay. Okay. Okay, Josh, please come up. 18, 20, somewhere in there. I'll just check those out. What's the resolution of your still camera? Uh, fine. <laughs> extra, <laughs> extra fine. <laughs> so you can do cropping and zooming and all that good stuff. Yeah, you right could now. do it. I mean, we it's kind of, we're moving around a little bit, so. But you still get the just, I guess. If I've heard it's you funny, can funny demonstrate how to stay still up here. Yeah, no, I can imagine. <laughs> Please show me. Pardon, what was that? Please show what? If you can stay still. 
<laughs> no, uh, that's what the camera's for. Still. <laughs> Don't you just have a button? Yeah, but it takes a still image. No. The image doesn't the pilot. <laughs> Don't you just have a button? <laughs> you do on a Shilly in HD. We got Funny all enough. buttons. All kinds of buttons. So how many? We've got two lines left there? Uh, one, two, I can see three. 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 In the one's line. probably the core. Yeah, okay, one's the core, so. I'm not sure about what there else. Might be three blue ones left. That was another standard. There's so there should only be two left there. Two. What's our depth right thing now? right now? Two. I'll stop, Josh. Four, eight. Oh, that's a good still right there. Do you want to zoom on that? Yes, please. In you go. Nice. Yeah, so that's the second last one. Okay, <coughs> happy, gents? Yeah, happy. All right, let's go. Okay, hold in, Josh. 18 to 20. <sighs> this is a bit skinny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. And there's still two things left. Uh, yeah, well, there's one thing left. And then, uh, then we've got the then we've got the two floats. The proper skinny one. Another lighter. How there. tall is this mooring? Five hundred meters. Okay. We haven't gotten five hundred meters up. Yeah, well, I think we're still. Uh, the next one will be four thirty. Off the bottom. Roger. <coughs> All in faster, Josh. Twenty meters a minute. Oh, there's a... Nope, I don't know what that is. Hmm. There's more strands there. Yeah. I see huh? two more, at least. Yeah. Yeah, what happened? How did they... <laughs> I think there was some potting down there. And splitter? Yeah, splitter. <coughs> What's our depth right now? 2317. Two. Seven. In between these two. Right. Is there three now? Looks like there's three there, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well that make that makes sense with our drawing of <laughs> where we are for sense. depth. <laughs> but three, that makes sense. How many? <laughs> Weird. Now there's three. Now it's just one again. How many does that have on there? Huh? Got one, two. Anyways. Ooh. Nice belly. Yeah. Lost one somewhere on the way. Hmm. That's strange. This is the first belly we're seeing. <coughs> Coming up. Yeah, that's completely off, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Neat. Weird. Yeah, it's been very tight this whole time. Yeah. Yeah, so definitely th three lines, three blue lines still left. Mm -hmm. How far off the float seabed are we? Uh, 400 or so. Okay. Well, if we, Not quite. There, we can 
if we stop at the next one, there's there's like correlating depths on these. So there's there we down. go. There's one. Keep going, Josh. A little more. Okay. So what's our depth right now? One second. Let me stabilize. Uh, two two seven seven point three. Two two seven. Okay, Josh. I'll okay. stop on the wind. So this is the third from last. Okay. The standard M again. That's a PMT. Let me come in a wee bit closer so you get your still. Yeah, that's okay. That'll be great. Okay, coming down a touch. Pete, you can zoom in in a sec. There you go. Okay. The hardware looks reasonable shape. The, it's interesting. Of course, there's no sediment in the bottom, but there's also oh well, here, here there's less. Growing See, we are getting yeah. off the bottom by far. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's less larvae. There's less hydrozoans here. Cool. Okay, Kay. that's pretty good. Thank you. Well, there's on the cable, but not the. the okay, Josh, itself. fall in again. Same speed. Eighteen so to twenty. Two more to go. The next one will be in about 20 meters from here. Roger. 24. Another belly. Another belly all together. Okay, Josh, stop there, please. All right, Pete, coming down for you. Go for it. I think, Bobby, we're, we're kind of back to this again. This. It's furry, but it's not as furry, not as tall furry as the first few, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, maybe they're young, young fellows. We got a funny guy here on the clamp. <laughs> uh, hardware looks reasonable, a little rusty. The bottoms are really clean, though, up here. Yeah. They were not down below. Okay, that's good. Thank you. On the move. Okay, all in again, Josh. Please and thank you. This one is 432 meters off the bottom, and it should be about, again, that 24 meters away from the last one. Okay. That was a, that was another splitter. It's not, but I put a bit faster. Do service loops. Going a bit, Josh. Uh, 
don't know if they're, I don't know if I've noticed from so far a real trend for less fouling at the top of them. Definitely different kind of fouling. Okay, you're good there, Josh. But the below Most fouling has definitely decreased between the upper ones and the Okay, Pete. Yeah. You kind of first impression? Yeah, and the bottom, the modules too, look much yeah. cleaner here exactly, at the top. Yeah. Less furry at the top and much cleaner at the bottom. I don't, I don't even see anything growing on the bottom of these top ones. Call oh, nice. It's yeah, the close up of the hydro. Well. Yeah, you can see the reflection of the ROV. It's <laughs> growing in the, the in the glass <coughs> on the bottom. Oh, that is really. You can, um, is this already zoomed in? Uh, Zoom in more. further. Yeah, I got more. Just yeah. on the top there. That's a good shot. Just to see what exactly that sediment's made of, if we can get an idea. Actually, yeah. Yeah, those nuts still look reasonable, a little rusty. Um, but that, that is a very, that's quite fouled. Look at that. Wow. Very cool. Well, I didn't know we could zoom that far in. We should oh, we have can. done that for all of modules. Oh, we can. <laughs> we can check them out again. Um, that's a really good shot. Thanks. That's good. What's next? Uh, keep going up. Up to the top. Okay, hold in, Josh. Same speed, please. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't quite realize we could zoom that far. We'll do that on some of them on the way down, too. Yeah, we don't tell you things like that till near the end, because then you just have us do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but he's going to have us do it all the time anyway. <laughs> yeah, but we missed half of them. Oh, uh, we'll get them. Don't worry. Get them on the way down. <laughs> when you get ready, that's such a sampler. All right, so, I mean, there are two floats to come. I don't know how big they are, so we might not want to be right up against this thing. And yep. uh, I don't know how high up they are in space, so we'll just have to. Yep. I'm sure we'll see them. We'll I'll just pull minutes. back a bit further than we have been. Yeah, I mean, we're just... And we'll be good. Far. We can zoom in on the individual one when we get close, just to check the rigging for lifting at yep. the surface. Float coming up above you. Oh, Got it. Thank you. Look at the fouling on Good that float there, Josh. Heck, we'd like to have a look at the rigging on this. Yep. John, you want some photos yeah, first? Thank you. Uh, yeah, while we're here, I can grab some photos. I don't think the scientists back home are as interested in the photos of this thing, but no. we'll take them. I think that's there from when it was released. Yeah. It's, that's whipped. Okay, can we look at the bottom uh, yeah. as well as the top on this? And then it would be really good to get a, a distance between the two floats. Can we zoom in on that rigging when you're ready? Yeah, go for it, Pete. Looks all right. Yeah. Hang on, let me come back. Yeah, the cable looks <coughs> good condition. Shackles look good. Oh, that's interesting. Shackle down below. Pull. Happy? Yeah, happy. That's kind of the car. Coming thing. back up top. Probably want to look at the top one, too. Yep, coming in now. Go ahead, Pete. Uh, those are the cotter pin shackles, looks like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I don't see really any corrosion on there. Yeah, 
Yeah, look at all that stuff. Okay. Cool. Cool, yeah. Coming up. This will give us a good idea what the lifting points and everything. Okay, Josh, haul like in, please. Well. 18, 20. Uh, just kidding, just haul in. Uh, and stop pretty soon. Right there is good. Thank you. <coughs> hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, so when you're ready, just have a look at all that rigging again. Same thing, and then we're also looking for like a good grab point to give to the deck. That's just on the other side. Up here, are you happy for me to go around here? Yep, sure. If you're happy. Yep. Dirk, it looks like there's eight meters between the two floats, including the thickness of the float. From it looks like from bottom to bottom. Yeah, that's that's gonna be interesting. Okay, so we have a pairing there. Um, that Amsteel line. How do you grab the Amsteel? From a small boat. <laughs> uh, I wonder if you can uh, hook on to it. Okay, so can we just look at what it looks like at the top and then we can follow that line kind of down to the bottom? Uh-huh. Okay, Pete, go ahead. Might have to go look at the other side just to make sure. It still looks like it's yep. just going to that shackle, but. You can see in the stills cam, there's not much going over the other there's side. There's nothing oh, yeah. over the other side. Right, okay, so that's perfect, yeah. <coughs> still that. Okay. You're full wide. Thank you, mate. There still might not make it through there. Yeah. There you go. Dust it off a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Just make sure you can see it. Okay, <laughs> what else do you want to have a look at? At the bottom. Yeah. Looks like I can't really tell. It's the yeah. shackle there with the cut line from its release. Well, it looks I think. like a pull pin, right? But uh, can we uh, maybe? Yeah, pull maybe. Around? Stand by. Zoom out a bit, Pete. Thanks. Forward. Yeah, we'll just take a little bit of time to investigate this. It looks like it's a pulpin to release the blue line. So, for lifting. Yeah. A pulpin, like an ROV pulpin? Yeah. Neat. That's what it looks like anyways. I believe that's probably to release that Amsteel line to, um, to, the top, to the top so you can pick it up. That's kind of a pretty cool picture out of Atalanta right now. It's really weird looking now. It is. It looks like space. Mm -hmm. Do you want some more tether? Uh, no, don't Kay. think so. Maybe. I just don't want to come too far because I'm getting close to a full turn here. Roger. Yeah, I just want to see what that pole pin's doing. Yep. I doubt it releases the float. Josh, I think you can pay out three meters, please. Thank you. Some, some stuff on here. So 
some worms there, Fabio. Okay, Pete. Yeah. We'll see the rope and at the same time see those little... I'm just going to back Ooh. off at a touch as well because I'll end they up They look like it. leeches. Yeah, they do. I don't know if they exist, a leech exists subsea, but... They yeah, they do. Like yep. They usually live on other animals, but this is interesting. I'm trying to leech the sun kiss. <laughs> It does look like it needs to be pulled, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I just want to... looks like it's just attached to that shackle. It's, yeah, I think we have to pull that as a recovery method. looks like the deployment is off the half circle. Like, mm. So you might not get that deployment line. Do you want us to do that soon? Yeah, right now. We should. Zoom out. Thank you. Uh, where do we want to be for this? I can do it mid-water, so I'm not uh, worried about it. As long as you can, yeah, bumping up against, it's fine. Yeah, I don't want to be too against it, you know what I mean? Whatever you like. Okay, stretch her out. It's going to be um, an interesting grab at the surface. I'm ready when you're... Uh, neutrally buoyant line. Yep, you're coming happy. in. Okay, say the word. Go when you're ready, mate. Slow jaws. Oh, come oh. on. Terrible. Got it. Did it do anything? <laughs> no. No, I, I bet you we just have to, like, pull on that blue line now. All right. Let me come back and we'll get that draw out. Stow it, yeah? Yeah? You want to stow this, or...? That one? Can uh, pick it up yes. at the bottom later. Can you get? Uh, can you put it in the box or front box? What's in the front yeah, box? Yeah, that's fine. There's some yeah, dust caps and done. stuff. Yeah, if we don't mind putting it just in that front box, so unless I don't see a yeah, I should say. it's got that heavy <coughs> pin on there. It's a little stick. Bring that camera in, please. Tis in. Tis in, Roger. Yep. Uh, okay. Wait. I'll Stop. do the Hang box. On. You got yeah, the go. pilot. Go I got this. Oop, too far. Drawers closed. Okay. Right. We can free up that blue line because right now it would be an absolute impossible grab. Yeah, Roger. Arm is stowed but on. I'm yep. going front porch again and bubble if you need it. Quick gauge check. Yeah, good thing it's like a lake Gages out there today. Are good. Yes, agreed. Like, look at, look, even look at um, Atlanta View. There's yeah, really no movement in that. Yeah, it's pretty unreal. Okay, so where do you want to go for? Can we just nuzzle the blue line or <coughs> anything? Any grab on the blue line is fine. Grab it or just bump well, it? Well, just as long as you just pull out the bottom, right? Anywhere, it's fine. Okay, okay set your arm, Mitt. I'm ready, nice and close, yep. but I can reach out. Coming in. <coughs> okay, you got it in Stills Cam as well. Yep. Okay, go when you're ready. A little far still. Yeah, I'm coming, still coming in slow. Great. Let's try this. Hmm. Might have to actually grab it. Bummer. Spin back, please. Come on. Hang on. There you go. Bouncing off. Sorry. <laughs> it's a hard orange. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> very juicy. Oh, hang on. All right, yeah, spin back here. Not ripe. I'm surprised. All right, coming okay, back. Out. Yep.
We can come in more to the top too if you want. More camera tip down and then I won't be as spinny roundy. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to be able to use that ridge uh, to get a gap, you know what I mean? Sure, yeah. If I can push against it, which is down, then I won't uh, just spin her around and I can pinch it, I think. Okay, Matt, all yours. Okay. Just tire us down a little bit, please. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Ah. Well, Dirk, it's just heavy. What's it got on there? Just a oh. weighted bungee. That's okay, that's what the pulpit was for. All right, well, I think that's I can grab the, that. Yeah, that's only going to make it easier for us later. Yeah. If that's that thing isn't sinking. All right, so you want that off, yeah? Yeah. Okay, it's on still is pretty good. Yep. I'm just thinking Coming about Mike at kay. the surface trying to poke, catch yeah, that. Yeah, 100%. Uh, okay. Open the iris, please. Yeah. Or if you ask one of us to do it, and then it's even worse. Yeah, big floating loop next time. Okay, I've got it. You can get it. Back and out. Uh, good work. Okay. Group there is you locked. When you're ready there, yep. uh, I can stow it in the box. If you tip your camera yeah, down, I can do all the boxing. It. And the camera is racked back, so we're good there. Yep. Okay, so our next uh, step will be to go down to the very first module on the, well, from the top down. And we'll want to very close up. We already did a close-up of that one. Of the last one? Yeah. Okay. But we'll get some so close-ups of the other ones. You first step is to go to the first module? From the top. First module from the top. Cool. So that is at a depth of 2229. Two, yeah. We've got the manipulator yeah. stowed and secured. Stowed-ish. We we'll want to sample that, that guy. What's the one? Suction sample. Roger. Coming down. Roger. Stand by, Josh. Be ready. <coughs> gonna pull it a little tighter because we're going down. Yeah. Probably 35 to 40. Okay, Josh, you can start paying out now. Uh, let's start with 15 meters a minute. Probably don't want to go too much faster than that anyway. You can speed up to 20 meters a minute. You're getting a little ahead of them there, Dave. Yeah, I've stopped, man. Roger, roger. What did we say that distance was um, between the two floats? Eight, eight meters. Eight meters, eight including meters. one th ball thickness. Okay, there's Four our the first one. Roger. Yeah, so that's the one we want to get a suction sample of. Keep going, Josh. So do you want the sample first, or do you want the close-up first? Uh, we already did a close-up of this one. Okay. So, I mean, if we if we are like perfectly horizontal with it, and okay, we can get another close-up of the bottom. I don't know if our yeah. close-up before showed the bottom at all, so you should probably see the bottom as well on a close-up. Be nice to have wide sampling as much zoom as we can we can have. Okay. Yeah, that's not going to be quite as easy. As <laughs> yeah, the current's yeah. picked up and it's changed a little too. Yeah, whatever you can manage. We, yeah, we'll get there. Okay, do you want to get the su suction sampler ready? Sure. Might as well get it out and ready, yeah. Can I see tilt down, please? Mm -hmm. Here we go, Josh. We're going to deploy the suction sampler from the holster Rev 7B6 or something. 
and see how it goes. Yeah, I mean, it goes out as expected. To minimal fanfare. Okay, All right. halted. Uh, go with that. Okay. Rev 7B6 means there's been a few. Yeah. Is there anything you need to do cameras wise to set up for the sea in the jars or anything? Sure. What the heck? Why not? You're doing zooms first, right? We've already got the zoom for this. Mind you, you want to try and get a zoom on the bottom, right? Yeah. And zoom in while we're trying to do it. Well, zoomed in as you can be, but the zoom in, a nice zoom in of the bottom would be a good reference between the two. All right, let's see what we get. Yeah, because it's, it's a quite a stark so difference, right? Before you get too close there, Dave, yeah. um, looks like we still have pilot cam and not suction jar cam. Okay. Oversight. So can you please rack the camera in and tilt all the way up? While still managing to fly? Yeah. Camera should be racked in. I believe it is, yeah. I'm going to line this up with a non-flush jar. That's our stills camera there. That's it. It's me all the way. Okay, there's sample jar one. You can resume yep. regularly scheduled programming. Cheers. That's a very interesting progression. What's that? Um, you know, normally when you cut regular programming, it's, it's an ad or something boring. This is actually interesting. <laughs> huh. Yeah, like a zoom in like this when we're close, like at this height where we can see both sides would be the best case. Okay, coming in. Um, can we pay out a little yeah. bit, please? Josh, pay out four meters, please. Megan. Oh, Ricky's trying to call you. Very low. Are you talking to me? Oh, Ricky is trying to. Um... Oh, I couldn't hear you at all. I just turned her up a bit. Okay. Yep. All right. Let's start zooming in, Pete. Yeah, like, except for the snail eggs. <laughs> no problem. Do you want me to dust them off? No, no, we're <laughs> done with that. That's a good catch. But, um, yeah, look at that. That is... Go ahead, you can stay in there, Pete. Nothing, nothing on there. Hey, Megan, could you look at the sonar Ooh. PC and just dismiss oh, that yeah. update, please? Sorry. Yeah, this is... This is a really good angle for what we're trying to do. Okay, I think that 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 shows us what we need to see. Thanks. Okay, thank you. No problem. <coughs> yeah, but that just shows the difference. It looks like polished chrome on the bottom, and yeah. And remind me what we're doing. We're going to be suction jarring these, just like the dust on the top. The dust yeah. on the top. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you don't need to get all of it. You sure? You can get the hydrozilla as well. Okay, uh, Dave, Dave, when you're ready-ish, I'll yeah. turn on the suction sampler now Do so it, that we yeah. have some time to... Go for it. You're Kay. only suctioning the top. Suctioning is on. Only suctioning the top. Roger. I'm trying to get the critter first. Critter first. Roger. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm on and out. Okay, coming in. Okay. okay. He would be on the back side and all, wouldn't he? Yeah. Yeah. No kidding. Why don't you start poking it? Can you iris down, please, Pete? Thank you. 
I'm assuming we want stills of yep, us. Yep, you're right on there. Sampling. Yeah. Okay. Coming around. Yep. A little. Yeah, yeah of course. Don't go, don't go crazy, but yeah. I need a little more reach, I think. A little more, yeah. Great. This guy yeah, over just here? Just a little bit of zoom, Pete. This guy? Yeah. Uh, nope. 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 Okay, well, that's good. He's not even on the glass. Just the do dust, the glass. Yeah, the dust, dust is more important. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to do it without touching, but this is a plastic tube, so should be okay. Yeah, I hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hanging on, getting out of there. Yeah, it's really, really loose, so every time you flinch at it, oh, yeah. it oh, just I wants know. to swing. All right, go. I'm far. Yeah. Okay. Uh, come wide again, Pete. Just get a bearing. Oh, there we are. So Fabio, uh, how much do you think we got a sample to get a fair Kay. representation of what's going on there? Well, maybe a few more. We got a couple of dust bun dust bunnies there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so because we start seeing a bit of a clean. Whoops, blank. Uh, yeah, well, that's now we get the backside. Perfect. Well, you, you bump it and then you get all the suck the stuff that. Uh <laughs> yeah, all the midwater stuff. Yeah, all the midwater stuff. That's that's good. <laughs> Bunk. Oh. Yeah, yeah I that's think how you get pro the. Uh, probably good, huh? I feel like. Try yeah. this guy again. Uh, we'll stick. Yeah, just stick to what's on the glass. Roger. I don't know. I think that gives us a good idea of what's on there. Okay, full wide, yeah. please. Like that's like. Yeah, yeah. Is that enough for you guys? Full wide. No. Yeah, that's enough, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stop the suction pump. Yeah. And zero percent. Once you get out of there, we'll do a reset on the. Uh, Flush jar, but not not yet. Fabio, um, is there a specific PI I happy. can take down or note down? Okay, when you're happy, well, let's Elisa do the tilt Rizconi. up, please. I'll or see those P1, jars again. You can put Elisa Rusconi slash P1. P slash. <laughs> All right, consider that one sampled. Do we have to turn the Hang on, rotation? P dash one. Go. Open the iris, please, Pete. Going, yeah, nice. Okay, we're going to uh, flush that out. That was in sample jar one. Sample flush. jar one. That sample, old Ricky, that sample was in sample jar one. Doing the flush action now. Just run that for 30 seconds or so. Sample jar one now for this one. Oh, yeah. All right. So right now you're just cycling the pump? Yeah, we're Get clearing out all the, the make sure there's no contaminants in the hose for the yeah. when we take our next sample. Okay, um, so when the ROV's ready, we're ready to move down to the next one and we'll just get that horizontal. You can move again. the, you can move the uh, camera now. Cool. Thanks. Because down to the next one? Yeah, down to the next one. We'll get a horizontal zoom. And